Video two, does cannabis use cause a psychiatric disorder? As I mentioned in the previous video, cannabis use is higher in persons who have a psychiatric diagnosis. This includes a wide range of disorders, from mood and anxiety disorders to psychosis and personality disorders. This raises the question, does cannabis cause mental illness in people who use it? I'll refer again to the 2017 National Academy of Sciences report, and this report found moderate evidence for the following associations. There was an association between regular cannabis use and an increased incidence of social anxiety disorder. There was a small but increased risk for the development of depression in cannabis users. And there was an increase in suicidal ideation in attempts with the higher incidence in heavy users. And they found an increase in the incidence of suicide completion. This report also found limited evidence of an association between cannabis use and the development of bipolar disorder in regular or daily users, and an association between cannabis use and the development of other types of anxiety disorders besides a social anxiety disorder. Now, when it comes to cannabis and psychosis, studies show that daily and or high-potency THC cannabis use, especially in adolescents, is associated with an increased odds of developing schizophrenia. Additional studies have shown that daily and high-potency cannabis use increases the risk of an earlier onset of diagnosis. Overall, these studies show that being at risk for a psychotic disorder combined with cannabis use is more likely to be associated with an earlier onset of psychosis, a poorer prognosis, and a greater likelihood of being diagnosed with schizophrenia. It's possible that persons with a vulnerability to psychosis who use high-potency cannabis on a regular basis are more likely to develop a more severe psychotic disease. But can we say that cannabis use itself causes schizophrenia? While there is a strong association between cannabis use and the development of schizophrenia, it's difficult to show the causal relationship. Certainly, the majority of people who use cannabis do not develop schizophrenia. However, patients who are developing schizophrenia are more likely to start using cannabis to address symptoms like anxiety and social isolation. For example, studies also show that tobacco has a similar relationship to psychosis. Cannabis use in individuals who are at risk for a psychotic disorder should be addressed clinically. This should include an understanding of the patient's reasons for using cannabis. It should not include judgment nor punishment. So in summary, is cannabis use associated with the development of a psychiatric disorder? We can say that cannabis use might increase the risk of developing depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and psychosis, including schizophrenia. However, the data shows an association between use and the development of a psychiatric disorder, not a causal relationship. It's important to recognize that cannabis use, especially heavy use, is associated with an increased risk of suicide. However, this increased risk is not necessarily specific to cannabis over other types of drugs. In the United States, 22% of suicides involve alcohol, 20% involve opioids, 10% involve cannabis, 5% involve cocaine, and 3% involve amphetamines. Thus, even though we don't often think about the association between cannabis and suicide, it should be considered in heavy users, along with other types of drug use. So the key points here are that cannabis use is prevalent among patients with psychiatric disorders, raising the concern that cannabis use might lead to the development of a mental illness. Research indicates that the combination of heavy cannabis use and being at risk for having a psychotic disorder is more likely to be associated with an earlier onset of psychosis, a worse prognosis, and a greater likelihood of being diagnosed with schizophrenia. Studies show an association between cannabis use and social anxiety disorder. There is evidence of an association between heavy cannabis use and suicidal thoughts and suicide completion. However, it should be noted that these studies show an association and don't show that cannabis alone causes these disorders. While this is not specific to cannabis over other types of drugs, it shows that practitioners should be concerned about suicidal impulses in patients with heavy drug use.